Nothing's free. And if it is free, you're probably the product. Now, Windows 10 is a step forward in most areas and a step back as far as privacy goes. They're moving a lot of this invasive stuff back to Windows 8 and Windows 7 through the update system. So if we're going to be stuck with Microsoft, we may as well lock it down. The first thing I like to do is come over here to my account. And when you're installing this, I uh, if you, you, know, you get the little notification over here in the taskbar, I unplug my uh, Ethernet cable and I make sure that my Wi-Fi is totally disabled. That way it cannot connect to the internet and it cannot create a Microsoft account. I do not want a Microsoft account and it's just easier just to you know, physically unplug. If you haven't done it that way, you can always just go to your settings, which is just you know hit start, type settings, there you are, and then click on accounts. And from there you can disconnect your Microsoft account and use a local account. You wanna use a local account. Uh, local accounts are also not gonna work with Cortana. So there uh, you already do not have Cortana, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna to listen to you and watch you. We're going to try to fix that as well. Going back, we also have our privacy settings, which will cover a few more things. You want to go through and you know change things. You know, make sure that things can't monitor your location. Make sure none of the apps can monitor your location. Make sure that your apps can't use your camera. So I, I just keep everything off. We don't want Microsoft to uh, listen to us or you know analyze our the things we type and and, and say. So no. Um, yeah, I'm just pretty much turning everything off. You guys can go through this on your own. We don't need to spend a lot of time on it. Um, next up, there's a really interesting tool called the Ultimate Windows Tweaker 4.0. And you guys can grab that on the internet. Just do a search for it. It's pretty easy to find. Go down to security and privacy, click on privacy, and just disable everything. Why not? Uh, I do recommend creating a restore point first. Very important. Do that. And if anything catches on fire, it's not our fault. So yeah. Disclaimer is done, but this will also allow you to customize lots of other things, you know, user accounts and performance and just all kinds of little things. Oh, speaking of user accounts and stuff, let's let's get rid of the OneDrive thing. So over here we should have a little cloud. Yeah, there it is. OneDrive not signed in. Well, there's a few things we can do. Right click, hit settings, and you just want OneDrive. You, you do not want it to start with Windows, so it doesn't always bother you. We're going to try to remove the app entirely and uh, see if it works. This is actually my, I just installed Windows and I'm doing all this live for the first time with you guys, but yeah. So anyway, go ahead and go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll come back to this after, I'm gonna leave it open after the video and I'm gonna check mark all these things on the, the privacy and go through this very thoroughly. Next up, I don't use Cortana at all and I've got it disabled, but this little search button is still here. And uh, you know, that app allows me to, you know, block Bing and there's different things you can do to block Bing, but I don't want, anything going back to Bing. I don't want to even use this stupid thing. So I'm going to go ahead and hide that because it's taking up space and it, you know, shouldn't be there. So right click on an empty space in your bar, hover over search, click on hidden. Hey, it's hidden. That's, that's cool. Why not? You guys can go in and customize that. This is not about customization. All right. This next one is for people who have, uh, you know, wireless laptop, maybe a Wi-Fi setting or something like that. This one does not have any uh, wireless adapters. So it's not going to be there for me, but you go into your settings and then, you know, you can manage your Wi-Fi settings, which is under network and internet, then Wi-Fi, then, then manage Wi-Fi settings. Now, Windows 10 uh, will allow you to connect to suggested open hotspots. I don't want to connect to anything without it, you know, me being in charge of it. So no. Also, among your contacts, if they connect to trusted hotspots, uh, there's an ability for Windows to, with your, you know, your different contacts, you guys will share hotspot information and then connect to hotspots that you all trust. So it's an ease of use thing, but I don't like it because I want to be in control. So I turn all of that off. Just go ahead and make sure that all that it's off. Now I'm not really going to be using Microsoft Edge, but there are some things that we can do here. Uh, if you really want to use this thing, I mean, it is faster uh, than most, but you can go into your settings and then we can mess around with the privacy just a little bit here by clicking on advanced. Pretty much it. There's not much going on here. But if you're going to use Edge, you might want to change those. All right, next up, we're going to mess around with the smart screen a little bit. And this is going to be just up to you guys. You can change how the smart screen works. Uh, I've got mine turned off to just not do anything because I want to be able to install things, you know, like third party stuff that's not verified by Windows or whatever. I, I just want full control over my system. Now, this is for advanced users. Um, you may want to leave the warning up, just warn you before using one. And I might switch back over to that. I think I will because this can be a bit dangerous. But, you know, the, these are your different options here. And uh, pick the one that's the best for you, I suppose. There's a really interesting article, or not article, but forum post over here on the website. Everyone's talking about the privacy in Windows 10. 
Now there's a pretty good list of, you know, different IP addresses you can block if you want to. So here's some that people are blocking on the internet. Here's a long list. You guys can play around with this and make sure everything works. I haven't played around with it yet, but I, I will and I'll get back to you. But here's all kinds of Microsoft IP addresses that you can block to make sure that they're not capturing things. I'm sure we're going to, you know, if you look in and then see what's running on your computer or, or look into your, your log file, you may find that some other IP addresses are phoning home that may not actually be registered as Microsoft, but other companies, you know, just be careful when you're messing with, with this type of stuff. And know that Windows is probably still listening to some things, even with all these precautions, but this is a much better way to use Windows. All right, another thing you can do to secure yourself and also just get rid of some of those annoying apps. I mean, this is a desktop, not a, not a phone. If you're on a phone, then maybe you'll need these apps, but I like to remove pretty much all the apps and install only what I want. But if you just want to remove a few things, Thomas here on his blog has a nice list of commands that you can put into your PowerShell to remove specific apps. I'm going to show you guys how to remove all of them, but I will link uh, link you guys here so that you can open up the PowerShell and just remove the you know the ones that you really don't care about. Anyway, let's go ahead and bring up the start menu and just type PowerShell. There we go. I right click on PowerShell and you need to run it as an administrator. Now I'll show you the code you need to write first off. If you want to see just everything you have installed, type git hyphen apex package space hyphen all users. Uh, make sure the case is like that. I haven't. I think it's case sensitive, but I would do it this way. Hey, look at all that stuff that's installed. Look at all that. Now this is only going to install stuff for the offline user account. And uh, let's, if you're going to be secure, that's what you're going to be using. So now we need to remove this stuff. There it is. That's the code for removing everything. I'll link all this guys so you can copy and paste. Copy and pasting works just fine in the PowerShell. I'm killing stuff. I don't even know what's happening right now. Everything's dying. So this should remove most things. Let's see what's uh, see what's left here. Hey, we've removed a lot of things. So where's all my apps? It's just my personal apps and a lot of different things. Uh, yeah, it removed a lot of them. My Cortana's still there. So some of these are a bit difficult to remove, but um, that app will get rid of a lot of it. There's another command if you still have an online account for whatever reason. If, you know, you can you can just do this. I'll I'll link that as well, but that will remove all your stuff if you have an online account and uh, that should get rid of most stuff if you guys have uh, you know tips for getting rid of some of the other stuff out there feel free to put it in the comments over on the website let's keep a, a conversation going about how to lock this crap down this content's uh, brought to you by us and uh, we've tried to put together a really awesome store for you guys with some stuff that's high quality and not too expensive so if you guys appreciate the content the best thing you can do is you know first off become a tech support member uh, patreon is another way to support us and then the store. We can give you guys some awesome stuff and it'll help uh, us keep making videos. So go check it out. Latest short of the month here is the Albert Einstein. We do have a short of the month every month, so keep checking. And uh, yeah, that one's good. I like this one. It's good. Anyway, uh, we'll see you guys in the comments. Let us know what you thought of the video. And uh, yeah, let's stay secure online. And listen, if you don't need like the Creative Suite or a couple of the video games on, on Windows 10, just go install Linux. And if you're not too familiar with Linux, start off with Linux Mint because it's the most similar as far as the interface goes. But, you know, check out our Linux uh, channel on YouTube and uh, check out our Linux stuff on the website as well. But yeah, it's um, if you don't need Windows, I really don't think there's any reason to be on it. But if you are going to be on it, you better be safe. <laughs>